Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part 13 of the Pro Tools First Pro course. In this part, I'm going to be showing you how to export your audio to the correct formats, whether you're exporting your podcast or your music, whatever it is. We're going to find out what settings to use to get it ready for upload on your streaming service or distributor. So we've got a podcast episode open here in Pro Tools First to get this exported and saved into a file that's ready for a distributor. Um, or just for sharing, download, whatever. We're gonna go to File, we're gonna go Export, and then Bounce Mix, or you can press Control alt or Command alt b And it's gonna come with this Bounce Mix window. So you can set the file name, let's just call it Podcast Episode 1. You can set the file type. So the WAV would, uh, would be the uncompressed audio, um, which you would probably want just at least as a backup. If you're exporting music, um, you definitely want the full quality version, even though, but but for a podcast, MP3 is gonna be fine because that's what most of the, the distributors want anyway. Then this little drop down is so you can select where you're exporting from. So we've only got one monitor out, everything's going into that, that monitor out. So by selecting that, it's gonna be exporting everything into that file. Then below that, we've got the file format, whether you want it in mono, uh, that's going to combine both channels, the left and right channel, into one mono file. Multiple mono is going to give you two files, the left and the right, so it'll give you two, um, two audio files. Interleaved is going to combine them into a stereo file, which was what we want today. Then sample rate, we've recorded in the sessions in 44.1, so we're going to leave it on that. And then this is just your file options. So where you want to uh, where you want to export the file to. So you can choose uh, for it to prompt to a location, or we can just leave it on documents folder and it's going to put it in the default folder. This offline button here, if you have that on, it means it's going to just go through as fast as possible. Probably only take a couple of minutes to to export the whole thing. If you have it off. So you're having an online bounce. It means you're going to be listening through the, to the entire uh, episode or, or piece of audio as it exports. So for a podcast, I would definitely have have it offline. For a song, I'd probably want to listen back and it'd probably be online. So let's just go offline and click bounce so you can see the process first. Now, because this is an MP3, it's allowing us to add some ID3 tags and choose the quality of mp3 now for a podcast just in this example i would be going for a lower quality to reduce that file size um, you can change it to fast encoding time with a lower quality or highest quality normally i'd go for the slower one just to get the best quality out of out of what we have but for this example i'm just going to go for a fast one and then we can use the latest id3 tag version that, that pro tools first has available and you can add your ID, uh, your ID3 tags in, and then click OK to start the process. So you can see there it's going through it. It's 56 minutes long, but it's going at 150 times that speed. So it's only going to take a couple of minutes. If you had this set to online bouncing, you'd have to sit through the entire 56 minutes. And then you can always, if you've made a mistake, you can always cancel. There's a little bit more to show you some important features uh, and settings you can use when you're exporting your audio. If you export how I just did, then it's going to be exporting everything from the beginning of the session right until the end of the final clip in your session. If you only wanted to export a little bit though, you can drag along the ruler up there or you can just highlight and it will make a selection. So now when we bounce, we can set it so that it only bounces that selection. Let's just do one for now, one of these little uh, little loops. And now when we export, let's try the online one this time so you can hear it. If we click bounce, it's only going to export what we've got in those selectors. So there you go, just eight seconds of, of audio. So that's going to be saved to the bounce folder. You should now have a WAV or MP3 file that's ready for upload. If you made it all this way through the course, well done. We've covered the basics, but I really recommend sticking around. There are a couple more videos left. Um, we're going to be talking about some of the best 
most useful plugins to use in Pro Tools first. And then in the final part, I'm gonna offer you some free materials and some links and things to help you to, uh, to, to move your learning forward after the course is finished. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified when the next part is up. And let me know in the comments section below, what are you bouncing out of Pro Tools first today? And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part 14.